Each fall, the McLean County Museum of History hosts a discovery walk through Bloomington's oldest cemetery. Um, there are a lot of different types of markers that are, that are in the cemetery, partly because it's so old and partly just because they, they wanted, you know, various kinds of symbolism in Victorian America. They were all about symbolism. By the time I was 12 years old, I'd mastered the ins and outs of brick making. I wanted to stay and see my babies grow up. We wanted to have a way to provide living history. We knew that over the years, Evergreen Cemetery had had a lot of problems with vandalism and upkeep. And we thought it would be nice to show what a beautiful cemetery it is now and what improvements have been made. Pay attention because this is a very important road. It That's another recognize. reason why we picked this cemetery is it be is because it is the oldest city cemetery in, in Bloomington, Norman. Good morning. I am Effie Henderson. I graduated from the law school at Illinois Wesleyan in 1892. The only woman in my class of 13. The project is a year-long project, and we have a, a giant map of the cemetery at the museum, and we have, uh, we have a variety of characters that we can pick from. Uh, my character is Effie Henderson. She graduated from law school at Illinois Wesleyan in 1892. I believe she was the second woman to ever graduate from that law school. For instance, we made sure that the new courthouse, built in 1901 after the Great Fire, had a women's restroom. We also made sure that the police department had a police matron, that is a female officer. And, later, and we put all of that information together and we give that to the theater. And the theater group starts to look over that information and get an idea of, of what kind of character, what kind of actor or actress they need to portray that part. That's right. Bloomington is the home of the first brick roads in the country, far as I've been able to tell. I got the contract, only I was too foolish to get a patent on it, and I, I lost untold millions. I mean, heck, I never realized there are ways a fella could protect an invention as simple as a brick road. Julia B. Hawkins, she was married to Absalom Hawkins, who was a cab driver, better known in that day as a hack driver. Um, they had some children together. And she seemed to be very happy to be a part of someone who was so popular. I wanted to stay and share that life with Ab, to see the future we could make together. But it just wasn't meant to be. I wasn't strong enough. I held on for two more years. I held on as tight as I could, but my lungs, I just, I couldn't seem to breathe to get enough air. And then, didn't really leave any footprints behind. I wasn't nobody, really. It's so important uh, to keep the past alive, and I think that's such an important message for adults and for children to first of all not only understand that every stone here represents a person just like you and I who have lived and, and had a life and had hardships and what is it that they contributed to their community throughout their life and what are we here to, to contribute to our community throughout our lives. Outside of learning how different times are compared to back then, how they lived, and just looking at how we live between now and then, how things we take for granted and things that we become dependent on it, it makes you think. Now I am sure that you have work to do too. Do what you can and be patient. Each year, the McLean County Museum of History selects a different set of graves to highlight. 
It's an interesting way to learn about the area's history. For dates and times for the cemetery walk in Bloomington, call the McLean County Museum of History at 309-827-0428.